Hello, one and all, and welcome. My name is Fear. This is Battle Vortex. This time around, we're going to discuss the beginning of Act 2 in Cyberpunk 2077. Life after Act 1, a.k.a. the prologue, begins once you've completed the final prologue questline and unlock Act 2. This is where the bulk of your journey in Night City begins. V can be in a wide range of character development at this stage. Hey, if you've been playing along with me and following my new player tips, videos, and live streams, you could be in the range of level 20 like I am. Uh, in many videos I've seen about Act 1, players are much lower on the scale of character development and may have missed on some perks that you discovered along your journey with me. We will be taking a look at what you should do now and how to wrap your head around being allowed to roam free through the entire universe of Night City. Uh, to get this party started, you're, you're asked to do a task list, which you can see on my screen on the right. I've only got a couple of things left on the list. Once you have cleared the last item before leave the apartment on the list or leaving the apartment will activate, fully activate Act 2 and everything's gonna come crashing into your world. First, we're gonna complete the get something to eat part of the quest, okay? So basically, you just got to find something in your house that you haven't picked up. And I don't know if they add new stuff or whatever, but take those two things right away. Takamura calls you. Takamura here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Okay. And you can say whatever you want to do, but I just go ahead and go with it. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. I haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? Hmm. If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. You better. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Okay, now you don't have to rush into that. Trust me on that. Okay, ooh, a little, a little disturbing there. Now you get a, a message from your building administrator. You can read it. It's just letting you know your car is ready. That's not one of the things I recommend you do right away. So we're just going to kind of, we know it's there. We're fine. We don't need to do that right now. And then we're going to go ahead and escape and close that. And now we've got another message from Bart Moss, Bart Moss Collective. And we're going to go ahead and read that. And it's just basically jibber jabber. It'll get deeper later on. Now you're also going to receive all these new jobs from Beat on the Brat. So you got to kind of wait. Just kind of chill out for a minute. Let it happen. Let it go. Don't try to get going too fast right now. You got The problem is that this game, the, one of the things that it doesn't do well is manage uh, uh, quests coming in and phone calls and all this stuff. So now I think we've gotten everything now. And once you get that call from Mama Wells, you want to take it and you want to accept the invitation. If you did certain things in the game to get that phone call. I did, so I should get them. The first thing I want to do is you want to go visit Wakako and pick up your money. Because you have money that you got from Wakako. Remember when, from the gig, you got that from Wakako when you were uh, in Act 1. So you want to go get that. So let's do that. Another thing, just a warning, don't go down those steps just yet. Don't go anywhere near the police down there until later. We'll get into that why later. Okay, let's go ahead and see where Kako's at. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get super close to her. So we're going to go ahead and we'll come out to here. There should be, I'm hoping there's a, a way over there. We'll go ahead and we'll have to drive the rest of the way because we weren't able to unlock any... Uh, any fast travel terminals over there right yet so now we're gonna be able to do that and then we'll uh, go over there and we'll talk to Wakako okay here we go there you go there's a distraction okay she wants to sell you cars okay great don't need that right now okay here comes another one 
Okay, that's the same one. Now that's the job for that. Phone call you just got. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead. Is there anybody guarding us? Because, you know, I like to go places in style. Let's go ahead and take a police car. And we're going to go ahead and go ahead. Oh, and we're going to go ahead and change the camera view. And then we're going to look over here. Well, well. Who Is do I gonna... spy but V? Oh in my, my humble pocket. Kako, long time no see. Woo, so that what was brings insane. you here? All right, so... Basically, we just want to get the money for Sandra Dorset. Have some outstanding biz to settle. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Well, give me the money then. Here is your reward. Thank you. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. It does. Go see a ripper doc. They'll weave you a dermo imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A tiger claw specialty. Okay, so that's really all you need from her. I'll show you where we're at on the map, just so you know. We're actually in the north side, Watson. Right, Watson? And then we're right near this terminal called Pershing Street. Okay. And he's right there. Ripper Doc. All right. And now we got another another car for sale. Man, they're trying to get me to buy some damn cars around here. All right. So we're at the Ripper Doc. Come see him. He's right here. Let's see if his business is How's Biz treating you, Cassius? Lately? Can't complain. MaxTac raided a black clinic not long past. Since then, custom accounts gone up, and so my prices. Coincidence? <laughs> you decide. Nice. So now see you'll good. see in here. Take your pick. You'll see in here under Smart Link, or under, sorry, Arms. You'll see these are free. They actually give you, I don't know why they give you two of them. You can take them if you want them. It gives you both of them anyway. Now, it also installs it. Now, you don't need it if you already have one. So, like this blue one. I don't think there's any real difference between this one or that one. Let's see. We'll just kind of compare them up here. It looks like smart targeting, direct link, da da da. So, this is basically just a tattoo, or the other one is just an implant. And yeah, I don't see any difference. But either way, you get it for free. So, you don't have to buy this cyborg if you don't want to. But if you want to wear the other one, then just go ahead and make him switch it back. So just, yeah, so just have him switch it back to the other one. And then you can go. So one of the things I wanted to tell you about was right away, it's probably not a bad idea to get a pretty decent weapon. One that's, you know, easy to deal with. Let's show you on the map what we're talking about. We're talking about coming to this location right here and this is in Vista Del Rey and you'll also be this is also Haywood in Vista Del Rey so when you get to Vista Del Rey in Haywood you you'll get to talk to Papa uh, Padre and all that but all you got to do to get this gun is you jump over this fence and then of course there's Skippy you can scan the body for whatever reason but you get Skippy You'll have to go through a little bit of dialogue with Skippy, which we're not going to get to in this video, but once you talk to Skippy, now you've got a gun that will uh, scale with you. So whatever level you are, Skippy will also scale to that. The only, the only suggestion I have for you is that when he asks you whether you want to do headshots or Puppy love and pacifist that you that you choose, puppy love and pacifist because you'll need that for later on. So trust me, Skippy will kill just fine on puppy love and pacifist. So that's all I got for that. The next place I wanted to tell you guys to go is right here, and we'll show you where we're at on the map. We're up in uh, we're up at the uh, Columbarium in uh, North Oak, okay, and North Oak is part of West Brook. Okay, so once you're there, all you want to do is unlock the uh, 
unlock the fast travel terminal. That's all you really want to do here. And then you can check out this chick on the ground. She's not doing good. But no cops were called, so no harm, no foul. So once you've unlocked that fast travel terminal for the columbarium, then you can come back home and then you can uh, start this next gig, which is called uh, Happy Together. And I accidentally already launched it, so here it is. So once you start this gig, now this one is super easy to fail because you have to be compassionate. You want to save before you start it, basically, because uh, there will be a part where after you get to talk to the uh, to Barry, you're going to be able to walk out, and the cops are going to be right there, and you can just go right up to them and talk to them. But you don't that that'll lead you to failure. So you don't want that uh, to happen. I may or may not do a video about this, showing how to do the whole quest line. But you know, basically, just be compassionate, and you know, uh, when you get out from talking to Barry, watch your uh, watch your journal on the right, where it says "Talk to the cops." There will be another selection there, which will which will say, "Go to the niche and find uh, Barry's friend." Okay, he's buried there, so you want well, he's ashes or whatever. So you want to do that, and then, then you come back and you talk to the cops and you tell them what's wrong with Barry, and then they will go and check on Barry, and everything will be honky dory. Now the reason I'm telling you guys about this particular gig is that I failed it three out of the five times I've done it. So it's a little heads up for me. It's not really a spoiler. It's not going to tell you anything about the story, but. Just remember, you got to go to that columbarium. So if you just unlock it ahead of time, you'll be good to go. All right, everybody. My chooms. That's about all I've got for today. Don't forget, just you got to kind of blow past the annoying annoyances for the first, you know, hour of gameplay after you get to act two. Uh, try your best to, you know, Stay focused as much as you can. I have a few little tidbits of things to do. There's lots of other things to do, and you're going to be just inundated with things. Uh, so just be prepared. Try not to get too sidetracked and and go on. And, and I also suggest you don't do all the main storyline missions right away. You know, continue to do as we've done in the previous uh, new player tips videos go out in the world pick a place you know pick anywhere uh you know learn about that part of night city and you'll find lots of cool stuff and then you know you'll be more than ready to go when it's time to go do the main storyline quests which as i've said before usually it doesn't really matter how good your stuff is in most time most cases they dress you up the way they want you anyway so in any event, guys, my name is Fear. This is Battle Vortex, and I will talk to you guys next time.